Hello everyone, uh, my name is Tom Abonchu from TomAbonchu.com and today I'm going to uh, edit a photo in Photoshop. I'm going to use Photoshop CC and the final result will be a photo that is converted to black and white but also what I'm going to do is alter uh, the, the, overall, the overall light in the photo and increase that vintage look at the, at the end. The photo was made early, early in the morning, right before the sun comes up in the medieval town called Sigishwara from Romania. And as you can see, it's a simple photo with some uh, stairs and an old church and the, uh, an entrance in that church. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use an adjustment layer of black and white. For the first conversion and what I want to do is alter the the yellows and the greens because these two channels usually form the um, the vegetation now during sunrise on sunsets you will also have reds in the vegetation or maybe magenta but it, it depends on the situation in most situations yellows and greens form um, the vegetation so I, I will increase the yellows and increase the greens to have a much more interesting and contrasting photo. Many people when doing black and white conversions, they do the initial black and white conversion and then they add another, uh, let's say brightness and contrast and increase the contrast and this is it, the, the editing. Now what I wanna do is create something more. And to have something to compare with, I will select these two layers and hit Control Alt E to merge these two layers into one layer and also keep the uh, the underlying layers uh, to have uh, something to compare with. Okay. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is add the brightness and contrast of the adjustment layer, decrease the brightness a little bit and increase the contrast. And then another brightness and contrast and decrease the brightness some more, increase the, con the, uh, the contrast and select mask and with a soft brush with a 100% opacity click once hold shift click twice and create this straight line so this is the um, the idea now i want to shift the entire light now i'm going to switch to 10% opacity because i have to reintegrate these areas over here I don't want to have them total black in total black I need to have a gradual um, transition between the two areas now this is a, a process that can sometimes uh, be fulfilled in one step and sometimes in two or many other steps as you can as you'll see in this photo I'm going to repeat this step to further increase the, um, the filling first of all I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer to increase the contrast so I'm going to increase the highlights and decrease the uh, shadows this way I'm adding contrast to, to the image and then again another brightness and contrast decrease the brightness some more and with a brush I come and in further enhance um, these areas over here I want to, to I want to have that sensation of light coming from uh, from one side Okay, now in the end I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer and uh, uh, first of all I'm going to increase the shadow point on the RGB and also add some some more contrast okay and then I'm going to come in the red channel and increase the shadow point the dark the black point to have some red in the in the shadows and with the blue I want to add some blue in the shadows 
and also create a contrast curve to have a much more interesting and vintage look. So this was the tutorial for today. Let's take a look at the uh, original um, at the original photo that w uh, the, uh, not the original photo, the photo that was first converted to black and white. This is the original conversion, and this is the result. As you can see, a pretty dramatic change and a and an interesting uh, an interesting look to this uh, to this photo. Okay. Um, Feel free to uh, post comments and ask your questions. Uh, um, if you like this video, share it on Facebook, on Twitter with your friends. Tell your friends about this YouTube channel. The more people subscribe to it, uh, the more free videos I'm able uh, to do. I'm also working on some pro tutorials and the first pro tutorials will be um, Lightroom from A to Z. So how to use Lightroom to uh, uh, edit your photos and uh, after that uh, more more videos will come, more pro tutorials. If you're interested, place comments below and uh, I'll maybe I'll speed things up if more people are interested. So uh, until next time, keep on photographing, it's the only way that you can get better. Thanks for watching and bye bye. <laughs>